The future of farming is at the heart of the global development debate. How can our farmers feed a growing global population in a sustainable way? Some people feel that small farms are key to food security, others that big farms are the solution. Small farms are the most common type of farm, but they often struggle to produce large yields. Big farms frequently have higher yields, which means the land is being used more efficiently. But their methods of intensifying production can be problematic, with particular concerns around soil, air and water pollution. Small farms tend to produce a wider variety of crops, which is good for biodiversity. But big farms can invest in better plant varieties, which means more drought and disease resistant crops. Big farms have links to international markets, which means food can be exported and money made for reinvestment. Small farms have closer links to local markets and local communities, which is a vital part of the food security picture. Small farmers often struggle to raise money to invest, especially in countries where land rights are weak and they don't have collateral. Big farms can bring more income into a community, but often farm the same amount of land with fewer people, meaning fewer jobs. The stability of big farms means that they can invest to adapt and expand, even when the weather is unpredictable. But small farms tend to avoid monocultures, which means that they are often less susceptible to environmental threats. There are more and more of us on the planet every day and there's less and less land to grow our food on. All sizes of farm have a part to play in creating a food-secure, resource-efficient world.